name's Lynn and this is my channel, Nana M. Um, and it's kind of a, an eclectic style channel. I do kind of all sorts of things. Um, lifestyle, fashion, car vlogs, shopping, anything you can think of. But I also like to do baking and cooking. And for anybody that's been um, with me from the beginning, or even watched most of my videos, they will know that if I'm dressed like this, <laughs> I am baking. So today's video um, is going to be me making um, a pairing almond tart. So I'll show you the equipment that I'm using, I'll show you all the ingredients, how to put it together, and then show you the end result. So if that's something that you're interested in, please stay with me, watch till the end, Make yourself a cuppa, put your feet up, relax, and I hope that you enjoy the video. So, let's get cracking. So, first of all, I'll show you the equipment that I'm using. I've got a, a 10 inch loose bottomed pie dish, fluted edges, and I've just greased that with some butter. Um, you could put flour on and then shake it off the excess, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So that's the first thing. I have my pastry mat for rolling out my pastry. And I have a rolling pin, obviously. I've got a mixing bowl, my electric mixer and a spatula. I can't think of anything else, but if I do, I'll just pick it up as we go along. So that is um, the um, equipment. Now I'll just bring you along here to show you the ingredients. So I've got a just roll short crust pastry sheet because I thought that would be easier. And to help to roll that out, I've just got a little bit of uh, plain flour to scatter all over me, me, me mat. So I'll just put that to there, leave that there. Then for the frangipan filling, we've got 100 grams of ground almonds, 100 grams of soft butter or um, fat of choice, 100 grams of caster sugar, a splash of vanilla extract, probably half a teaspoon, you can also, should you choose, put some almond essence in, half a teaspoon, but I haven't got any and I'm not bothered because you can taste the almond anyway. And I've got two eggs, two medium-sized eggs. So that is for the frangipan filling. And then I'm going to spread the bottom of my tart with some blackcurrant conserve. You can use strawberry jam, raspberry jam, apricot jam, don't put anything in it, uh, you can, it doesn't matter, but we are going to have it with a uh, blackcurrant conserve. So that's that. Obviously the pears, so I've got one tin of pear halves, but I've also opened a tin of pear quarters in case I need to use more than that. Probably won't, but it doesn't matter that I've opened them because we'll eat them for a pudding after tea. Uh, toasted flaked almonds. Now I didn't want toasted flaked almonds, I wanted the untoasted and I would have sprinkled those on uh, the tart and baked them in the oven but they didn't have any wherever I went so I just had to have these ones so I'll show you what I'll do with those after. And then for a glaze you can use apricot jam just heat it up in the microwave but I'm going to make a simple syrup and I've got a, a tablespoon of the pear juice and two tablespoons of granulated sugar. And I'll show you what I do with that to make that after. So there are all your ingredients and all your equipment ready to go. So, on to the next bit. Okay, so first of all, I am going to open this. Scissors. 
Martin's 10 inch. And that is, and I need some for up the side. So I want mine to be about 12 inch, which is the outer circle on here. I don't think I'll be able to see it through the pastry, but at least that's a guide for me. And before I even do that, I'm going to sprinkle my mat with some flour. And also a rolling pin. Get this out. I took this out of the fridge about maybe 10 minutes ago, something like that. Right, so I'm just going to roll it up that way. I don't know why they don't do round ones. Time to bring these edges in. I know now, because I can't see that circle, that that pastry is big enough. So I'm going to roll it up. Like that. Bring this over. and let it fall in if you know what I mean try not to stretch it and then just let it fall in like that just gently Push it in. Like now I'm just going to take some of this excess Make a ball and push, push it in the ridges with this ball. Can you see? Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to get a knife. Pick the tin up. And trim the edges. Now I'll just go around. I'm 
pěkný lidé. Right, now, the trick is, before you beat your eggs, pastry brush, making sure you only get the white of the egg, you see, and spread that white all over the bottom. And what that does is, when it dries, it seals the pastry. You need to do it on the bottom because that's where your jam is. If you're going to put jam in, you don't need to put jam in. And what you can do is, um, you, can, you can really mix this up, you know, this recipe. You can put fruit in it. Do you know what I thought would be nice? I might do it one uh, on another video. Um, instead of putting the pears in the top, do it as, as normal like this, but put, um, you know, cherry pie filling, put that on the bottom. Ooh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Right, so that's now going in my fridge to rest for two hours. I'll be back. Now then, my granny always taught me never to waste food. So this is the little bit of pastry that was left. So I've just rolled it up into a little, well, it's not even rolled. I've just squashed it together, put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put it in the fridge and I'm going to use that to make, what do they call it? Oh, dearie me. Anyway, what it is, is it's a pastry bottom and you sprinkle sugar all over it and you put uh, currants in it and you bake it like that and then um, you put butter on to eat it. Oh, it's delicious. Grandma always did that with what was left over from the pastry. Seeing as how it's short crust, it could be nice. So that's going in the fridge. Right, for the frangipan filling now, uh, I've had to move positions because my mixer won't reach the plug. So, yeah, I've had to move over this side now. No problem. So that's my butter. My 100 grams of butter. And I'm going to sieve this because it's uh, got a few lumps in it. So that's me... Uh, Castor sugar. Just push that through. That's that. So I'm going to get my mixer in there now. Mix this on medium speed, probably for about three minutes. So um, I'll set it off and then... I'll fast forward. Okay, that's been about three minutes now. Um, so now I'm putting in about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is where you'd add your almond extract if you choose to put some in. And it's going to split, but I'm not worried about that. I'm adding my eggs both at the same time. Because as soon as I put the, frang the um, ground almonds in, it'll all come back together again. So I'm not worried. So I'll just scrape it down a bit. I scraped it down uh, every now and again while I were uh, mixing the um, sugar and egg, uh, sugar and butter. So I'll give that a mix now. Mm, 
Now this is where I'm going to take um, the paddles out and start you. I'll just use my spatula. Are you? Right, so in goes me um, ground almonds, 100 grams. Get rid of that. My grandma always said, tidy up as you go along. And that's what I've always done. So I'm just going to mix this in now. that's good enough so I'm just going to leave that now in that bowl cover it up until I'm ready to use it you can put it in the fridge but if you're going to do it the day before and leave it overnight you need to um, bring it back to room temperature before you use it so you could prepare all this the day before yeah. So that's that. So I'm going to get some uh, cling film. It's no good me melting the jam or anything yet. I need to wait for that pastry to come out the oven. Uh, oh, the oven. The fridge. And it's not been two hours yet. So we'll do that step after. So there we go. That's as far as we can go for now. So I'll bring you back after. Bye. Okay, I thought I would show you while we're waiting for everything to sort itself out in that fridge. I'll show you how um, I make the glaze uh, with the syrup and sugar. So I'll just pour my syrup in that's come out of the tin of pears. The sugar. Put it on a high heat. It's gone off. Oh, it smells delish. <laughs> it really does. You can just make this with water and sugar. Uh, you can make any syrup. That's how they do it. Simple syrup. But usually it's equal amounts of water to equal, uh, equal amounts of sugar. And you just heat it up till um, all the sugar has melted so that you can't feel any of the grains. Well, I'm taking that off now. That's it, finished. So I'm gonna pour that in here and that's my syrup for glazing the tart after. Do you know I could bake all day? I absolutely love baking. Okay, everybody, I'm back and I've taken my uh, pie lined tart tin out of the fridge. And I've got, I've just warmed three tablespoonfuls of that um, blackcurrant uh, jam conserve, whatever it is you're using, in the microwave, just to loosen it up a bit. So now I'm going to pour it in the bottom of my pie dish, my tart case. Get 
like it a lot. Like that, and you just spread it out. I'm going to use this, this spatula thing. There. So that's that bit. Then we get our frangipan that we made earlier, and this goes in. Going to use the back of a spoon for this. That's good enough. Now then, these pears. That's a massive one, so I'm going to put that one in the middle. Oh, plop. I'll put one Now, if I hadn't got toasted almonds, flaked almonds, and I just had normal flaked almonds, um, I would sprinkle them on now. But because they're already toasted, I don't want them to burn. So I'm going to put mine on after. I'll show you that. So now that's going to go in the oven. And I'm going to have a look at it after 30 minutes and see what it looks like. So I'll just... I'll check that after 30 minutes and see see how we're going on. Oh, excited. It's beautiful. All right. See you shortly. <laughs> Need to tidy up now. I'm just uh, showing you that it's been in for just over 15 minutes now and I've turned it round halfway around because it was um, colouring up more on one side than the other so I just opened the oven door quickly, turned it round and uh, then shut it again so that's what it's looking like so far looking good well I've um, tidied up, washed up, left it to drain on the drainer made myself a cuppa so I thought well while I'm waiting for the tart to come out of the oven. I'll just have a little two minute chat with you. If you don't want to listen to me prattling on, please by all means fast forward, I won't mind at all. I won't even know, will I? Um, but um, a few people asked me, because of the shopping hauls that I did, um, a couple of people said, would you mind showing us how you do your wraps? Another person asked for the p and which I've already done and um like obviously um I, i'm doing the pear and almond tart oh and somebody asked about um me making a steak pudding because i mentioned that that was one of my favorites that my grandma used to make so 
So I was wondering, and I wondered if you wouldn't mind giving me your thoughts on, what about if I did like um, a recipe every week? Or maybe every fortnight? I don't know yet, I haven't made my mind up. I'm just kind of like throwing things around a little bit and asking, would it be something that you might be interested in or not? I love cooking and baking is a passion of mine. Um, so I do it anyway. So I thought, well, if I'm doing it anyway, although I haven't done much recently because I'm trying to lose weight, but what I can do is I can give it away. Uh, my husband can eat it and my family will eat it. So it's not really a problem. And I do love baking. When I haven't done it for a bit and then I make something, I'm, I'm like, mm, I get all collie wobbles. I love it. Um, so please, could you let me know in the comments if that would be something that you think people, well, yourself really, more than anybody, would you be interested in it? And I'll see how many comments I get and how many people give me the thumbs up or that, no, I'm not bothered by that. I don't mind, just be honest. <laughs> I'll be cooking and baking anyway. It's just that I thought, why not film it? Seems as how so many people have said. Um, so I thought I'd just come on while I'm having a quick cuppa and see what your thoughts were. So if you wouldn't mind, let me know. The cake, uh, the tart is nearly ready for coming out of the oven. <sighs> Wait till you see it. Okie dokie, my uh, flan has had just over 30 minutes, about 32, 33 minutes. So I'm gonna take it out because it looks like it's ready to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glaze it with the, the glaze that I made with the pear juice and the sugar. The syrup, do you remember? Look how syrupy it's gone. Look at that. So while it's still warm, If you didn't want it as thick as this, you could just do uh, half and half, like equal amounts, should I say. Whereas I did a bit more sugar in there because I wanted it a bit thicker. I don't know why I wanted it a bit thicker. <laughs> I do these things. You have to do this while it's still warm. And what I should have said was, and what I should have done and didn't do is, I should have patted the pears dry with a little bit of kitchen roll before I put them in the tart, but anyway. Because when they're really juicy like this, if they're very, very wet, it makes um, 
you to bake them for a bit longer, but this one seems to have done all right. So I've got away with that one, but really you should uh, pat them dry. So look at that, ladies and gents, if there are any gents watching. How delicious does that look? I'm going to let that cool and settle for, I would say, a couple of hours, really, for me. Let it sort itself out and settle down. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness me. Forget me, if it weren't loose. The almonds. So this syrup will help these almonds to stick. I'm going to try and avoid the pears if I can. Don't know why. You don't need to. You don't want. You do whatever you like. That's what I say. Whatever tickles your fancy. can just let them fall willy-nilly if you want. You want more on? Put more on. and stop faffing. Can't help but faff with things. I'm a faffer. Look at that. Oh, got to wait now for till it cools down properly and settles down. Because that way it will be easier to take out of the tin and easier to cut and slice up. So. Nana M's pear and almond tart. I'll come back and show it you out of the tin uh, and when I cut a piece and have a taste. Yum, yum. Mm. So this is what it looks like out of the tin now. It looks a lot darker actually on this uh, video than it does in real life. It's more golden in real life. More like, I can't explain it really. But anyway, look at the nice fluted edge. And as you can see, that pastry is definitely, definitely cooked through. So um, it hasn't cooled down properly yet. So as soon as it has, I'll cut into it and then I'll show you what a slice looks like. I can't wait to eat some of this. <laughs> Bye. Now this is where I decided to do um, a voiceover. Um, I've been up and had my shower and uh, got my gym jams on. We've just eaten tea and we've decided that we're, uh, we've waited long enough. <laughs> so we're going to try this, um, this tart. We've had it before. Um, but nevertheless, so I'm just cutting into it and you can hear, you can't hear, but I can hear um, the crack of the, um, the pastry. It's so crispy. On the bottom, it's not soggy at all. I think I did too big of a piece, but never mind. Doesn't matter. That one's forever. You can see the layers there. Uh, the crispy bottom, the blueberry concert. <laughs> Frangipan pear and almonds. And this is my piece. I'm never ever going to lose that weight, am I? Look at it. Half of that would have been enough for me, really. But never mind. 
and I'm just about, I think now, I think this is where we get a fork and they have a little taste. And this is absolutely delicious. Harvey loves it. That could grace anybody's table. So I do hope that you'll have a go yourself. It's never gone wrong for me, touch wood, and I hope it doesn't go wrong for you. Don't see any reason why it should do. Um, so I hope you make it and I hope you enjoy it. So I've just come back on to say um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I do hope that you will try and make it for yourself if you fancy it and let me know if you do and um, whether it turned out all right and uh, whether your family liked it. That would be nice if you could let me know that. So. Um, I don't know what my next video is going to be. It could possibly be the porch refresh because I was going to do that today, but it's so cold outside. I did go out to do it, but I came back in and I thought, no, I'm not doing that today. I'll wait until it's just not, not quite as cold. So, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Look after yourself. Be nice. Bye for now.